Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, we're gonna do another episode of Bites and Nibbles with Breck today. Today's recipe comes to us from our friend Bill Krinner, who is a regular participant on our live streams. Uh, if you've watched our live streams, you know that uh, we always, they always seem to devolve into talking about food. And uh, one of the live streams a few weeks ago, uh, we were talking about food again, and I mentioned I love Mexican food, which of course you all know if you watch these. And uh, I mentioned that I'd love to make some salsa. Well, Bill mentioned that he used to work at a uh, Mexican restaurant and he had the recipe for their house salsa. And he sent that to me and today we're gonna try that. Now I'm having to improvise a little bit on the ingredients because we're still in the middle of this snowstorm thing that hit us uh, yesterday and it's kind of been declared a statewide emergency because of this because this is just so unprecedented and so a lot of companies including my own have been shutting down uh, to avoid the danger of having to drive drive in, in to and from work every day and uh, turns out the grocery stores are also affected apparently they're not getting a lot of deliveries and they're cutting hours for their employees too I know I actually tried to go to the grocery store last night uh, arrived there about 6.30 at night and they had already closed for the day and they announced it wouldn't be opening until tomorrow at 10 a.m. Well, tomorrow, today at 10 a.m. So I went over there this morning at 10 a.m. and because there hadn't been a lot of truck del deliveries, uh, a lot of the shelves were really, really bare. And so I had to improvise a little bit. It kind of reminded me like of the first days of the pandemic where uh, everybody was kind of panic buying and uh, you really couldn't get anything. So hopefully this is just a temporary thing because uh, you know we're supposed to get a little bit more like snow and freezing rain tonight and tomorrow, but then it starts warming up and hopefully things should get back to normal pretty quick. But anyway, let's take a look at our ingredients. So these are the ingredients for our salsa recipe. And this is actually where I'm having to improvise a little bit. The recipe actually called for El Pato brand hot tomato sauce. And I couldn't find anything on the shelves uh, with El Pato brand and uh, couldn't even find hot tomato sauce. So I got some regular tomato sauce and we're just gonna goose it up with a little bit of salsa or with a little bit of hot sauce. This should, uh, this should uh, kind of improvise pretty well. Additionally, we're gonna have some Roma tomatoes, uh, three jalapeno peppers, three, jalapeno, or three serrano peppers, uh, a red onion, and some garlic. Now a lot of the preparation for this is just gonna be chopping up the individual ingredients. And so what we have to do is we have to core and seed and then chop up the tomatoes, the jalapenos, the serrano peppers, and the onion, and the garlic a little bit. And since you guys all love the time-lapse segments, we're gonna do that. This one's for you.
And finally, we're going to saute a little bit of garlic here. Uh, actually, I'm going to saute a lot of garlic because I like garlic in my uh, in just about everything. So I've actually just chopped it up in the food processor. I know there's a garlic press and that sometimes a lot of people like that. But this chops it up into real nice chunks and uh, I kind of like doing it that way. So I'm going to saute the garlic a little bit and we're going to add that to our concoction. All right, so there's all my fresh ingredients and I'm going to mix in the tomato sauce. I've actually been kind of looking at this and I think I'm going to probably need to go back and get some more tomato sauce. I don't think I have enough for this. But we're going to start with this. I'm also going to throw in about a quarter cup of that hot sauce that I uh, showed you just to kind of give it a little bit more kick. Because like I said, I couldn't get the, uh, I couldn't get the, uh, the hot tomato sauce. So... Like I said, I'm improvising, but I'm just going to stir this up. And then I think, like I said, I'm going to go back and probably get a couple more cans of the sauce. All right, so I got to admit, uh, actually, this looks pretty good with just two cans. So I'm probably not going to have to go and get much more. So I think we'll probably just stick with it as it is. That looks pretty tasty, though, doesn't it? That looks like a good, uh, pretty good salsa. Got it all kind of mixed in here. Now, now, according to the instructions, the, uh, the real secret to this is you want to put it in the refrigerator overnight and give it a chance to uh, get all the flavors to kind of blend together. So I'm going to do that, and we'll come back tomorrow and we'll give this thing a taste test. All right, so I've got some, I got some uh, saran wrap on the top of this thing here, and we're going to put this in the fridge overnight. And unfortunately, that means i got to wait about 12 to 16 hours to try this, but all you have to do is wait for the next scene. See you tomorrow. All right, it's the next morning. Uh, my salsa has spent the night in the refrigerator. It thickened up really nice. And I actually cheated a little bit this morning. I had some for breakfast. I uh, made myself a breakfast burrito and rather than uh, slathering a lot of uh, Tabasco sauce on it, I uh, used some of this. Um, if I were gonna do this one again, I would probably goose it up a little bit. Uh, this is what I would call a mild salsa. So if you're, uh, if you're not really into the really, really spicy things, this might be the thing for you. I would probably double, triple, or quadruple the jalapenos and the serrano peppers. Uh, maybe add some, uh, you know, add, add a little bit more augmentation uh, to the sauce. It's very possible that, that the issue I ran into here was that I didn't use the hot tomato sauce and just used regular and then tried to goose it up with the salsa. But... It did turn out pretty good. I put it into individual jars right now because I'm gonna probably freeze a couple of them and then we'll keep the other one in the in the uh, refrigerator for use, uh, for immediate use. But uh, it did turn out really well and I am going to include the recipe. Try it if you like it. And uh, I think that is all that I have for today. So thank you as always for watching and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Bon appetit.